Welcome back everyone, back from a week away, thanks for sticking with me here. For those of you who are new and you're asking yourself, why should I stick with you, why should I follow you, what makes you so knowledgeable about reptiles and why would I want to watch your content, well, hang out and I will show you why. So I get asked a lot, how do I have time for all of this? How do I keep up with this? How do I afford all of this? And why do I put myself through all of this? Well, the answer is because I love it. And I've been fortunate enough to make my hobby, my living, my lifestyle, in my 24-7 day-to-day occurrence of events and what I do. So a lot of folks want to go full-time and, and make reptiles their living, and they usually think of breeding full-time. And although breeding does supplement my income, I do it full time in a different way and uh, I figured I would kind of give you a quick little insight into my world today. Uh, you've seen plenty of this, you've seen a lot of the breeding, but uh, I figured I'd give you a little behind the scenes on how I support this and how I make this all happen. So I said earlier that I don't, I don't breed full time, I don't breed for a living, I, I do breed and sell offspring and it supplements my income so in a sense you know that does help me pay the bills but I figured I'd take you by the shop finally we're open for business uh, there have been a couple of teaser videos that other people have put out you should expect to see Brian Cusco's uh, Cusco and Cut coming up on the shop and and then uh, pretty soon uh, a you know, as we expect it from Dave, Dave Kaufman will probably have a fantastic, well-edited, well-produced video, so that will be coming too, but what I was going to show you is just one angle of making reptiles your full-time job, full-time day, you know, income, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I figured I'd show you the office. So. The one point that I wanted to hammer into this is that none of this happened overnight. Um, I didn't just go buy a bunch of animals and start breeding and get into reptiles overnight. I've been into reptiles for over 22 years. So it's just one of those things. Um, you know, you either love it or you don't. And when it comes to business, even though we're not talking about a business, you got to grow into business. You don't go into business. So you really got to learn the ropes and take your stride. So for all of you out there who are like, I really want to do this full time. How do I get into this? You just, you walk your own path. You put in the time, you put in the work. And if you're passionate, it'll, it'll appear for you and you'll make it happen. So I think, uh, the best way to do it is to do it your way. I worked in zoos for seven plus years and I've just got kind of an enthusiastic background for what I work with so it all just sort of panned out. So my my two cents is follow what you love and it'll pan out as it should. So let's get to the shop. I'm going to show you a quick roundabout in the back, show you the, the front displays and everything, the retail side, but then I'll show you my office basically how I pay the bills. Let's go. All right, we're here before anybody else is. So this is it, this is the spot. So I'll take you around. Lighting, gotta have it. We'll check out these two rooms here in a second. Basically that one and that one, but I wanna show you the main display room. So we've got really really awesome uh, idea here that my, my boss owner Grant came up with took this display sealed it up we've got plants running uh, aquatic plants terrestrial plants and these fluval lights really show things off really nicely so shout out to fluval uh, you know where to get your coca blocks ah! I'm not out anymore and then the great wall of snakes spiders, scorpions, you name it. So I set all of this up. Whoop. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Got some, some carpet, some retakes, some ball pythons, some tarantulas, dart frogs, scorpions, centipedes, a 
whole bunch. We, we thought we would have enough for all the animals, but we have more animals than we thought. Recognize these little guys? Little Arizona striped tails. Got some babies here. All the bedding. It's kind of like a, a nursery setting, you know? Like when you go to like a plant nursery, everything just kind of lined up and you just have at it. So I think that'll be a little bit uh, more free for all, more friendly for, for customers. Um, got a whole like planted and little terrarium section. We're gonna have more bioactive stuff because y'all really love bioactive. Feeders, heating and stuff like that. You know, the register right here. And then it's kind of an open floor plan. We've got kind of like this island style going on where the different tanks and displays that will rotate in and out as we build custom ones and things will kind of go in and out of there. So that's gonna be really cool. And then Jim, uh, a local friend of ours, Jim Hernandez of Noble Bee uh, Honey Company is a concrete master. So he built these, so these shelves are all gonna have some cool displays on here. All this concrete rock work he did. So there's more in the back. But let's get to these two rooms. So first off, the aquarium room. So we had all these displays at the old shop but now they get their own designated space. We've really cleaned them up and dialed them in. We're gonna have a bunch of food. Everything is gonna be much more organized. You know, it already is. It's, it's all centrally located in this really, really cool beta wall that we've got a big uh, flow through system. It plums down into a sump down there and uh, with a drip system that sort of fills it up as it goes. So that way they're constantly getting water changes, fresh water. Now, I breeze through that because obviously there's not much else to say, but we've got the coolest reptile room in here, man. So again, these old displays, just kind of the same stuff, but revamped, cleaned up, ready to rock. Cool wall right here with all the products and everything you'll need. And then the next step, we're going to get all these set up. We've got a bioactive substrate drainage layer and we're going to have live plants and set up some really cool stuff in there. So that's coming. But we got your hobby staples. Everybody loves good beardy. Some nice ones. Some fire skinks. Even got a chondro chilling out right there. So, definitely a lot of cool stuff here. But now let's go take a look in the back room, which is my office, because I'm not going to be spending any time up front here. I don't deal with the retail. So we go through the concrete archway, and it's not fully cleaned up and set up back here. But this is where the big zoo style enclosures are. We got one more to finish right here, but I'll take you down the line. So, first off, oh, Rudy, you got your glass all dirty. This is Rudy. This is uh, Grant's black dragon female. She's about eight years old, and we've had some partho babies from her over the last two years, which is really cool. But it's fantastic because now she has this big old waterfall. Every exhibit has a nice 100 gallon pool. And the best part about Rudy is she's a sweetheart. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Rudy. How's our favorite lizard doing? Good girl, Rudy. All right, so as much as she is the mascot, there's so much more cool stuff to see here. So. Moving on down the line. Oh, he's out. All right, that's Addy. And that's a big male het black dragon. So they're both Asian water monitors. Rudy is a black dragon. Addy is carrying that gene. So we are hopefully going to get them to breed this year. They bred in the past, but she had a strictly partho clutch or two. So we're hoping to get some you know, good healthy genes from the two of them, but they're just wonderful lizards. They've got all these big, beautiful enclosures now that we're gonna put a ton of perching in and really fill up, but it's awesome to see them doing this. Now, this one is arguably one of the most creative and unique exhibits for what's in here. So you've got seven Philippine sailfin dragons. And again, Jim did an amazing job on all this concrete work. But look at these guys, just hanging out, basking. Obviously, you can't feel it, but there's some seriously tropical humidity levels in here. 
and got a big guy over there. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but we've got some monkey tail skinks hiding out in here as well as some Indian star tortoises. And these guys are going to basically spend the winter in here, but they've got some outdoor enclosures and it's getting to be cold at night. So we're getting them acclimated. Last but not least, the lace monitor enclosure. These guys are very shy. So there's the female. Oh, good morning, sunshine. So we've got a pair of Bell's Phase Lace monitors in here, and they too have a 100 gallon waterfall pool, but they don't swim. But it does give them the perfect humidity. They can bask. It's about 130 degrees there. Wonderful shelves, some great perching, tons of room for them to cruise and be active. And they can actually climb these walls. It's textured enough. These guys can climb all up over this. So they make use of every square inch. So it's really awesome to see them adjusting so well. So pardon the noise of the fan, but we got the aquarium room going in here and without it, it gets humid. But we've got a plumb flow through drip system in here, just like with the, the beta tanks, but this is on a much larger scale. And back here, we're gonna be breeding in some fish having feeder fish for customers and the animals and just kind of do a whole bunch of different things. Snails, frogs, tadpoles, you name it. So this is gonna be a ton of fun. Uh, fish is definitely like the area I have the least amount of experience with, but Grant knows a ton, so I'm excited to really get into that. But this, as they say, is where all the magic happens. So this is the breeding room. A um, Couple racks, this is gonna be a Dubia breeding rack. We've already got the first bin in, but it's, there's a lot in progress. It's going to take a month or so before we're fully dialed, but we've got a lot going on in here. It's a big space. So um, basically this is where I spend all of my time kind of cleaning everything, feeding, watering, organizing, checking on stuff. You know, we've got a lot going on. We've got blackheads and pardon the mess. These animals are doing what they do best. So we've got blackheads in here. We've got some boas in here. Got some blood pythons in here. So there's a lot going on at any given time. Um, you know, and it's fantastic because if you know me, I, I'm a variety person. So beautiful ring python. This girl's going into shed, uh, but she's normally just glowing with color. We've got our Woma projects that's taken a new level thanks to my buddy Mike Renault of ADD Reptiles. Thanks for this absolute ripper. I remember the first day I saw her and I knew I needed her, so just kind of how fate worked out. But we do a bunch of ball pythons and things like that here. We've got some rainbow boas. You really need to check some of these bloods out though. Like, look at these things. It's dangerous being around all this stuff. Oh, okay. This one, this one right here. This is called a pixel matrix. This is what temptation looks like. So I work with this on a daily basis. It's driving me crazy. But yeah, so the whole point of this was to say there's more than one way to work with reptiles full time. You can do it in a zoo, you can do it breeding, or you can work in a the industry of the hobby side of things, like a pet store or something. I kind of have the best of both worlds because I've done the zoos, the pet store, and now the breeding. Um, so I've done a lot of it. But there's no way I could have predicted that. There's no way I could have planned that. That's just how it worked out. But because I'm, you know, determined and this is what I want to do, here we are. So that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to... Uh, give you all a little bit of motivation and because we haven't really shown off too many animals here is a beautiful little captive born and bred baby northern blue tongue one of my office buddies so you just got to make your dream happen if you want to work with reptiles full-time just do it whatever that means for you you'll figure that out but unless you try, you'll never figure it out. So go out there and do it.
This was a weird one. Peace.